regardless of where you're fishing in the United States, if you're out there trolling for salmon or pretty much doing anything with herring, one of the new popular ways to do it is with Potsky Nectar, and blue is one of the new colors this year. Uh, Toby Wyatt is gonna show us how this is done. Toby, what's the easiest way to do it? Well, it's pretty easy. Uh, basically, I have uh, one flat uh, of herring, and this brine I'm gonna do, you can, you can uh, use up to two flats for this brine. Um, one or two flats is good, uh, three would be too many. So basically, uh, I got a gallon Ziploc bag, and this is one cup of non-iodized salt measured out. One cup of salt. One bottle of water, 16.9 ounces. I like to use half of the Potsky uh, Blue Nectar. You can uh, also use the Chartreuse, it's very good. And that much will cure this whole flat? Yep, it'll cure two flats. Okay. So you just take the whole flat, dump it in there, seal up the bag? Yep. Now, this will take overnight for these to start to harden up. And then tomorrow I have another process that I do to them before uh, I start fishing them. You could fish these tomorrow if you wanted, but uh, what we're gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna do one more process. We're gonna let them cure in this brine for, for two days and then they'll be ready to fish. But for now, we're done, and tomorrow we will finish this cure. All right, so we're gonna revisit our herring from yesterday. These have been curing for 24 hours, and once again, we had one cup of salt, 16.9 ounces of bottled water, a half a bottle of blue Potsky's nectar. These uh, herring been curing uh, for uh, 24 hours. So now, you can fish these right now if you want. Um, for me, I like them a little tougher. And basically, I'll take all these herring, every single one of them, and at this point, I'll take them and I'll cut them. First thing you want to do is invest in a good cutter. There's people that cut them by hand, but really, if you get a cutter, they're going to be the same cut every time. You can get the same spin every time. You're going to be able to get dialed in a lot quicker. So basically, I'm going to take this herring now, and I'm going to come in right behind his gill plate, slice it down like that, get rid of the head. And here's a quick, easy way to get the guts out. You know, instead of using a needle nose, you just push on his belly. See the guts come out like that? Hold the guts with your knife and pull. Okay? Pretty much gets all the guts out. So now I have my cut herring. I'm gonna put that cut herring back in the brine. Now I'm gonna cut all of them and put them all back in the brine. Why do I do that? Well, if you like nice firm herring like I do, if you cut the head, take the guts out, put them back in the brine, they'll be nice and firm. They'll be even firmer than if you leave them whole. Plus, if you have scent in your bag and your brine here, uh, it allows the scent to soak into the meat. So, that there gives you perfectly cured, cut, ready to go herring. And they're already cut, ready to go, so if you get into a hot bite, you can just pile them on quick as you can, get them out there, that way you don't have to cut them every time. They're ready to go. So if you get in a hot bite, you're not gonna miss any of that biting action. And that's, that's my way of doing herring.